Hey guys, Brother Monroe here. Uh, welcome to another Taskmaster video. Uh, this is one that uh, was written especially for stealth. Um, and this is the ship that I'm going to be going with, uh, which is actually a historical build. And no, I don't... well, kind of. Um, no, I don't get any bonus points for that. <laughs> so we're going with the HNLMS Java, because this knows all about the Dutch. Uh, the Netherlands... Uh, and yeah, it's a uh, <laughs> it's especially for stealth. So I really hope he does really well. Um, check out all the other him and all the other admirals uh, in the description. Um, there's there's links to their videos. Anyway, what is the scenario? Well, we're angry. We're angry that the once great naval power of the Netherlands doesn't even appear in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Doesn't even appear. Even China is in in the game, but the Netherlands. The once mighty Netherlands isn't. It's ridiculous. It's outrageous. Um, and the Community Marine, stealthy, you can tell me how badly I pronounce that, has tasked you with um, taking out the fastest, deadliest ship in the fleet, which is the Java, and showing the developers the errors of their ways. Um, so the developers are being are actually Ukrainian. Uh, sorry if I to use Russians. Sorry. Um, and, uh, well, at least I think they're Ukra They're based in Kiev Game Labs, I believe. Um, they have 10 transports. That's the devs. They also have a uh, light cruiser and four destroyers, which are the security forces. Now, the aim here is merely to sink all of the all 10 developers' ships um, as quickly as possible. Um, fastest wins, and we're using France light cruiser 1925 tech, uh, Russians are 1920 tech, um, and there were a couple of restrictions. First of all, had to have a minimum speed of 31 knots, which mine does. Had to have a minimum of uh, 10 six-inch guns. Uh, my ship has 12, so that's fine. Um, and we are not allowed to use deck-mounted torpedo tubes, and I have none, as you can see. Um, otherwise, we're allowed to do what we want. And I've gone for, well, I'm not sure. It's it's a very weird ship. Max, it, it, it's a bit, it's quite tanky for a light cruiser. It's not very fast, which I'm not sure is the right way to go. It's got fast firing, high explosive dealing guns. I, I just don't know. I just don't know. Um... Because because I could swap tankiness for speed. It is the fastest to kill it. It's just I don't. I know that you know the tra the transports have guns, so do the destroyers, so do the light cruisers, and I will have t torpedoes to worry about. Now, if I get it hit by a torpedo, I'm probably going to die. But you know that might mean that I'm not completely out of it. Um, you know, if it's really near the end of the scenario. No, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Oh, jeez. This is going to be awful. Okay. Security developers. No points for the security. We need to kill all the transports. And whoever has the most time remaining, according to the... Uh, all the yeah, the most time remaining according to the in-game clock. So whoever sinks them in the less, least time... Is the winner now? Let's go. See now, this is where my ship is at a disadvantage. The sprint to get to the ships. <laughs> and when I was raising it, I was like, "Yep, no, we're going to have to start from a reasonable distance away, so that if you go, if you do what I've done and go with a brick build, um, this is where you lose out. So I've lost time." Um, just getting to the enemy. Mm, uh, I don't like this. I think we're going to be firing HE for the whole battle. Come on. Come on, come on. 
<laughs> oh, we need an enemy. <laughs> we need an enemy. Oh yeah, this this is where I'm just losing so much time. Uh... Oh well. Um, welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. As we sail gracefully along. Well, seriously though, um, it would be nice to see the Netherlands added. They might not have been a. People might not think about it them as a great naval power, but they definitely were. Um, I live uh, not too far away from Dundee, and uh, the Battle of Camperdown was a big battle between the British and uh, British and the uh, Dutch Navy. Um, and uh, there's a big park in Dundee, Camperdown Park, that um, is kind of celebrated. Well, it was built on the back of that victory. Um, that was quick. Okay. <laughs> so that high explosive lidite build's doing well. I'm still getting over pens. But I'm setting so many fires and things that they're going down. That's good. Well, that one seems to be dying to flooding. One more round? Yes, go for it. Right, kill the next one. We send a torpedo their way as well. I do have underwater torpedo tubes. We weren't allowed the deck ones, but we were allowed the underwater ones. So the ones on the side are probably going to be a just in case. Or um, if I get a chance to shoot at multiple targets. So, like, shoot a salvo at. Trans a transport whilst using the guns on another one. Um, something like that. Okay, so there's no escorts to worry about just now. They'll be somewhere over there. Seems we're sneaking up on the enemy uh, convoy here. I did go with the standard torpedoes. Uh, another thing that kind of puts a limit on uh, what you can do with the torps is you think the biggest ones you can get are 18 inch. And you can only have standard or fast. Okay, there's two. Kill two. Yeah, we're coming up on the rear of the formation. That's a pretty nice that's pretty nice for us. Yeah, I reckon the escorts are uh, out at the front of the formation somewhere. Okay, so just go easy on the torps, right? We don't have that many of them. I know they'll keep going, and they might hit something else. Yeah, but I kind of want to save them for a closer range shot. Because they're not that... they're not fast ones, so... And uh, with my luck with torpedoes, I always miss with the things anyway. Right. Unless I'm firing an absolute boatload at point blank range. It's pretty much the only way I can do torpedoes. The Edinorog. Having a rough time of it. <laughs> a maximum bulkhead transport. Nice. That'll be why she's taking a bit longer to kill. Didn't need to use that torpedo. Never mind. Right. We're starting to spot the enemy. Uh, so there's a transport there. Transport. 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 Destroyers over here. Hmm. No sign of the light cruiser. Keep moving in. 
everything on that ship. See, that was what I was worried about. But I've gone for a very, very silly armor scheme where I've gone belt, belt extended, but basically no deck. No deck, no turret top armor. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> I'm probably going to regret it, but. See, that one only has standard bulkheads. Okay, so we got yeah three transports there. I think. Oh no, we got a destroyer coming in. Hmm. Tell you what, if you get a shot at the destroyer with the torps, you can take it because you might hit a transport by accident. But we're going to focus down on killing those transports. Okay, hopefully the lieutenant. Zarenitsky. Zareni will uh, die soon. Yeah, that, that'll get her. Right, mains. No, not the Boris. The Soviet uh, Ekaterina. Yep, there she goes. Hit straight away. Probably going to want to start slowing up just a little bit. I did uh, really hope they didn't launch torpedoes at me. It's partly why I'm slowing up. Change direction a bit as well. Torpedo launch. Hard to starboard. Mm. Torpedoes against the Boris, please. Come on! That's why I hate the side mounted torps. Okay, they are firing fast torpedoes. That's not very nice of them. Let's uh, smoke up. Okay. Mains and secondaries. Now hopefully those torpedoes will do some damage, and then we can immediately switch fire, but you never know. Then we'll go after these transports over here. With the, well, we'll keep firing over that way for now, but because you don't know what we're going to hit, if anything. Trying to keep an eye out for any other enemy torpedoes coming my way. That would be bad. Okay, looks like we are going to hit the Boris. Okay, 
So secondaries on the La Reserve there. All right, torps still reloading. We do have the starboard tubes. Hmm. Once I'm sure it'll die. Oh, minimum bulkheads? I think it. I think it won't. I don't, I don't think it's going to survive that. Right. Change target. Again, bit of a risk. I'm kind of hoping the fire and flowing will finish that one off. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So we have one here, one here, one here. And then must be more. Must be more. So those three are sinking. One, two, three. Mm, I don't believe that. Have I sunk that many? Oh, this is where I should have been keeping count. <laughs> uh, I'm also hoping that by being this side of the torpedo boats, the destroyers don't feel bold enough to actually shoot at me. Let's go to flank, just in case. Right, torpor and move on. Whenever you're ready. It says you're reloaded. Oh, no, 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 don't. Oh, fuck. Wasted them. That was a misplay. She's dead anyway. There you go. Okay, no, I think there are only two left. So, yeah, there are only two left. The Usuri and the Carp. Okay. So, all guns on the cart. Mm -hmm. Come on. Sink. No, 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 yeah. Keep keep going like this. Here we go. Good hit. Good hit. Good. Good hit. Right. Everything on the Usuri. She is the last transport left. You may fire when ready. Actually, no, not quite yet. Need to clear the wreck of the uh, cart first. There we go. Oh dear. Come on. No, stop it, avoidance system. Come on. Few bulkheads. She's going to go down. She's going to go down. Okay. Pause. Yep. Confirmed. That's all ten of the uh, enemy transports, all 10 of the developers sunk. Uh, and that occurred at, so I had nine, I'm just gonna write this down before I forget. 
According to the in-game clock, I had 9.16.05 left. Meaning... Uh, I had 10... Hours minus nine hours six. Sorry, we're doing maths. Mins five seconds. So that was, what, 44 minutes? Well, 43 minutes and 55 seconds. Oh, man. Right, for bragging rights, <laughs> let's see if we can kill off the, um, I don't even know if that's a good time or not. Did we just fire torps at the sinking ship? Yeah, of course we did. Right. Let's see if we can finish off the escorts. <laughs> Ooh, nice hit. We do absolutely do not have to do this, so yeah, that's my time. Forty three minutes fifty five seconds. So go watch the other guys, see how they did. Uh, I'm just gonna have a bit of fun. Uh, my dog is uh, barking away. So I think she's having fun. What's the range on those torpedoes? 6.3. Okay, well, we're well in range. I wonder why they're not firing them at us. Terrible chance to hit that destroyer. Oh, man. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> I didn't even see those. <laughs> well, that could have ended our attempt pretty early on. Probably gonna have a better chance hitting. Uh, no. Yeah. Trouble is, the destroyers are so hard to hit. Yeah, we're not particularly great escorting by the uh, AI today. I have to be honest. Torpedoes fight, harder port. And uh, slow down a bit. Speed 20. Okay, you killed one. That's a bonus. You just fired. You have no ammunition. You do, and you have, oh, okay, well, just try and kill the close one then. Nice shit. Very nice. Although that was a terrible shot. You get a good shot with the bow launcher. We are very close to it. Yeah. 
come on. Come on, you just fire the torpedo, you kill it. No. Cheeky little love tap there. There we go. <laughs> See, this is what I mean with the uh, collision avoidance system. I, I could have avoided that, but I've lost all control um, on the uh, on the Java completely because she's just determined to do her own thing. Oh well. Right, looks like we've got a whole load of torps coming at us. You also won't be able to tell how well I've done by looking at the video <laughs> length. How cunning of me. Right, not that you really can anyway, because... You know, we could be using the time speed thing. Right, let's go hunt down that light cruiser. No, no, we probably should best off trying to kill this ship over here. That is the last destroyer. Well, last destroyer with torpedoes, anyway. Good hit. Before she can reload. Uh, light cruiser is still a threat as well. So be her next. Come on. Maximum bulkhead destroyer again. Uh, AI. Destroyer, maximum bulkheads. Battleship, minimum. It's how it's supposed to be done. It's really not game. Come on, one more hit. There we go. Right, everything on that. Give him a broadside. Good hit. I think she's going down. Yep. Okay. Just me versus the Kirk. Uh, we should probably still keep firing HE because of the Lidite. Oh, a pen. 55% chance to penetrate. That's not bad. She fired at us. We were doing a turn at the time, so hopefully that's a miss on her part. Find our bow launcher. Yeah, I have no idea if this is a good time or not. Feels like a clean run, but whether it's actually a good good score compared to the other guys, I have no idea. Oh, shit. You sneaky little sausage. I'm not sure I can avoid that.
Don't overcorrect. Oh. Ow. Flooding out very fast there. No. Goodbye, Java. You're a good ship, and you did well. Looks like the uh, developer's head of security finally finished it off. Anyway, that's the end for another Taskmaster video. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourselves. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Um, I've got loads of other. Oh, if you, I know that the people watching my Taskmaster often haven't seen any of my other videos before. Um, so go check it out. I've got lots of Ultimate Admiral content. I do other games as well. Uh, check out my Patreon page as well. Um, really, really helps um, with uh, well, basically persuading. Um, <laughs> the people that I my family that this is a worthwhile endeavour um, <laughs> and uh, I, re I really really appreciate it anyway thank you very much go watch the other guys videos um, and I hope to see you next time bye bye